Well, our next guest wants to encourage kids to love books, and she's doing it through representation. Today, we're here with Renetta Daniels, or Netta. Uh, she has written a series of stories that represent minorities in literature. Welcome in, my friends. Thanks for having me. Yes, so glad you're here. Okay, so why? I think I know, but why is it so important to allow kids to see themselves in these stories? Yes, so children need to know and feel that they are valued. So while they're reading books, they need to see uh, reflections or them of them, people that or characters that they can relate to. Mm -hmm. And when they see characters that look like them, it's more relatable and it helps them to feel valued and important. Mm -hmm. And you're an educator, that's you in the classroom with all of your students. Yes. Um, <laughs> you have 16 books in this collection. Um, what do you, what, what is the mission behind this? Um, so I wanted to, as work, while working in the classroom, I noticed there was a need for more diverse and multicultural books. So um, Caucasian characters, animals, and even pets are featured in children's books more often than African American characters. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to help bridge that gap and to provide a love for reading. I wanted to boost children's confidence and to provide that positive representation in printed literature. Mm -hmm. What have you seen as a response of that? I mean, I'm sure you could see that in the classroom. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So um, my supervisor, um, Leslie Walker, I work for Mid Cumberland Community Action Agency Head Start. She's been so super supportive. My uh, co-workers have been co supportive. They've purchased books. They read it to their class. I've donated books. I read it to my class. Mm -hmm. And um, them being able to see our kids being able to see these characters to know that I wrote them, they're like so ecstatic. <laughs> and what's really cool is you have all these different stories, um, uh, different characters as you mentioned, and you even have some with affirmations, an affirmation journal. I wouldn't change who I am because why, why include something like this? Because children need to know that they are perfect just the way they are. Mm -hmm. They don't have to try to be or strive to be someone else, to look like someone else. Like, they are perfect the way that God created them. Mm -hmm. So, so well said. Just being comfortable in your skin is what it's about. Mm -hmm. um, you're all about paying it forward. Um, and I know you're working on something in the yes. future. Tell me about it. Yes, so um, Reading Winnetta has a goal to donate a thousand books to children in need, to um, different schools, to help children build their own library at home, to have this library available in schools. So we are um, on a campaign to pay it forward, to like make donations and pay it forward to help children receive these books for free. I, I do have a, a question for, for audience members out there who may have young children. As an educator, how do we get our kids to read more? Um, I feel like having pictures that are relatable, um, engaging books, fun books, so that sometimes it doesn't even feel like they're learning. They're just entertain with the book. Mm -hmm. um, definitely limiting screen time mm -hmm. <laughs> um, are all great ways to just uh, push literacy on them. What is the future, what, is, what does it look like for reading with Netta? Um, so I'm currently working on two new books. I'm working on my first chapter book because the majority of my books are like elementary, pre-K age. So I'm working on my new um, chapter book and I am working on a book about uh, disabilities because I definitely want to my books to be inclusive. Mm -hmm. I mean they already are and it's really beautiful. What have you heard back from some of your readers? Oh, I get so much positive feedback, so much support. Um, I do a lot of community events. I love to be out in the community, um, meet new families, and I always get thank yous, like people thanking me for what I do, letting me know that it's needed, this is important for our children um, of all races to see diverse books, and um, I just feel so appreciated and so welcome. Yes, you are. <laughs> and then just wrapping it up, uh, uh, you know, when you're speaking to, to young children, you said you want everyone to be seen. How do, you, how do we do that? Um, we, we do that by respecting different cultures, by introducing um, di different cultures, for, by definitely being um, diverse mm -hmm. um, and not just 
allowing yourself to be sheltered or in a box because we live in a very diverse world mm -hmm. therefore we should have diverse books available to us on a daily well thank you for providing those on the daily <laughs> my girl all right check out her incredible books visit readingwithneta.com